Hello everyone and welcome to the sideboard. We're here at the Los Angeles Standard Open with Brian David Marshall. Hi everybody. BDM, as he's obviously well known on uh, the mothership, commentary even. You have your own, uh, even. own little desk and camera and back yeah, screen and everything yeah, most yeah. of the time. Yeah, I know. You're, we're doing like, <laughs> the pregame here and you're like, and then I'm like, yep, I got yep, it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, first off, we'll talk a little bit, I guess. You, we had, didn't get to see you at the Players' Championship. Everyone was a little bummed about that. You were uh, ill and under the weather. It was the se so I've been doing coverage now for 10 years. And it's the second event I've ever missed. That's, uh, a, that's a very good rate. Yeah, yeah. I'm, really, I'm pretty happy when I put it in that perspective. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, and I, I was really hoping that it would pay off uh, the same way the last event I missed did, which is Kuala Lumpur. I was, sure. I was pretty sure that John Finkel was a lock to win <laughs> as a result of me not being there, and yeah. you know that it would make me happy to be there while he won. But uh, he finished fourth, so yeah. top four. So that oh, was only a top four yeah. against oh, uh, the okay. toughest field right. <laughs> imaginable. Only a top four after a top eight and a top eight in the yeah. last two Pro Tours. And, yeah. yeah, not bad. Not yeah. bad for John. Yeah, skill game. So did you watch the coverage a lot from home, I assume? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, it was fun. I, you know, when I mean, you just don't get a chance to see that the other side. density. Yeah, well, I mean, the other side. I was just thinking about that density of, oh, oh, of players talent. colliding. Like, just, you know, seeing Shadi Yasoka, you know, over the arc of his play style, mm -hmm. watching him draft, watching him play, you know, getting to check in on him four or five times sure. over the course of a weekend. Is, is pretty spectacular. Watching, getting to watch John three or four times. There's so many people when you get to a pro tour that you want to look at that you don't have a chance yeah. to focus in on, you know, that wedge of just like the game's, you know, behemoths. I thought it was like an excellent tournament narratively for Shouta in particular. Like I've I've been a big fan of Shouta just yeah. because like I liked Tezzeret and Shouta like <laughs> played that guy into the ground. Seemed to be the only one who could accrue 12 wins at the GP level with the card. Yep. Yep. And. Uh, I was very happy to see him just getting so much recognition. He's obviously like a pretty talented player, and really the exposure I think will be like pretty yeah. big for him because he's yeah. not he's not super well. He's one of those pros like all the pros know versus right. like the audience knows. And and, and he, he has not had a ton of. I mean, he's obviously super successful at the pro tour level. Like he yeah. always does well, but he just has been on the wrong side of tiebreakers several times. Several yeah. times, you know, people talk. Uh, I think Kai Buda was talking about Paulo Vitor da Rosa back then. <laughs> Paulo has never lost a bubble match in his life, right? Paulo has no top 16s. Yeah. Paulo has zero top 16s in his career, right? Like, he's all like, I'm back here somewhere, or I'm in the top eight, yep. you know, nine times. Um, and, like, he's just won all his bubble matches. You know, kind of like, whatever. Grumble, grumble, grumble. As, you know, German magic players who are the greatest of all time. Want it's funny, uh, like, I remember when I was following Paolo, like, really early in his career, like, when he started writing, like, for TCG Player initially, or Brain Burst, I think it was even not yeah, TCG yeah, Player back then. Yeah, yeah, it was Brain Burst. And, like, I noticed, like, you know, this guy was on the train, and, like, nobody seemed to know who he was at the time, because, like, right. he wasn't posting the top eights then, and I was right. just, like, reading, and I'm like, man, I'm not, he, this guy ch just churns out, like, top 64, top 32, once he starts winning those last ones, and then, like, all of a sudden, he just yeah. turns it on. He got to, when we when he made the top eight at Charleston, which was his first yep. uh, top eight, you know, we, we start... You know, you, you know how it is. You've, you've yeah. certainly done it, right? You're like, I gotta put together a profile. Who is this guy? You know, and look at him like, so this guy just moneyed his last five pro tours, you yeah. know, and you know, yeah, spectacular. So yeah, it was it was just a, a great event to watch. And shout out in particular. I, I'm sure. sad that he didn't win because I would have liked to have seen what that would have done for his Hall of Fame candidacy. Yeah. Well, I think we should, I guess, bring up why you're out here on the West Coast. People might be a little surprised. You know, that you're. Not exactly an LA guy. I would, I would I, no, no, I'm very, I'm very. I was walking around Burbank yesterday, so you know, I'm definitely not an LA guy. Like throwing rocks at me, and you know, like, what the hell are you doing? Get out of the street. Sure. Um, I have a game company. Uh, we, we do game design. We got bought by a company out in Sacramento called okay. Fifth Planet Games. Uh, it's me, Steve Satan, Matt Frando, Zeeland Powell, Matthew Wang, a couple of other people who freelance for us. Uh, in the New York office. Sure. So I come out to California a couple times a year, uh, go out to the office, you know, uh, check up on, you know, team meetings, team drafts. Direction, all that? Yeah. Uh, what kind of games are you guys primarily producing? We right do, now? Uh, we have four games right now online, uh, two role playing games and two what you would call RPG CCGs. So okay. Clash of the Dragons and Legacy of Heroes. 
All right, Legacy is the one I'm really excited about. Superhero TCG, all real comic book artists working on it. Ooh, so it looks like it looks awesome. So it's like Amanda Connor, Steve Ellis, Jamal Igle. Sure. And it's awesome. I get to write comics, so I love it. <laughs> Excellent. I think your pairings might be up. Yeah. Oh, there they go. A psychic. A psychic. <laughs> this guy. All right. I'm telling well, you, I've done this before. <laughs> thanks for coming in, man. My pleasure. Great to see you. Thanks. Yeah. We'll be back right back with round six. This is having a little bit of fun with our show director. Oh.